agenda is item 32, proposed new delegations register. This has been um, through quite an extensive process. It has a very extensive um, uh, attachment in one of the other documents. <laughs> attachment one. Right, so um, would someone like to move the proposed new delegations register? Um, moved by Paul, seconded by Raf. Is there any? Are there any questions? Yanni? Just wanted to clarify where we got to with the resource consenting. Um, just in, in page five, sorry, page two seventy, five eleven ten. I know um, some of us have just been appro approached recently with concerns over some consenting decisions. And I just wanted to check um, if you could just clarify um, just the, the change that's been proposed. Okay. Um, the main change that has been proposed to the RMA delegations is to remove the officer subcommittee. So at the moment, there's a range of delegations that goes to an officer subcommittee. Those delegations will now go to um, largely senior staff who can decide those matters by themselves. But in terms of the overall split about how those delegations have been separated, that's largely the same. The main change is just removing that need for that subcommittee. So if people had concerns around um, their consenting decisions, is there a process that we could put in place where they could actually appeal or, rather than a judicial review? Which is one thing that people seem to be quite concerned about. Well, that, that question hasn't really come up before, but... And um, we've got a whole lot of statutory um, obligations around what we need to do. We have to go into that put an appeal for a decision anyway. So we, we have to follow the letter of the law in relation to those processes. Yeah. yeah. So I guess the concern I have is that instead of having a group of people making a decision, you've got now one person making the decision. So the risk of that one person having a different, you know, just w one view versus three different views, which might get a, maybe possibly a better outcome. I think um, you've got to rely on the, uh, the um, planners have got a professional judgment to make when they're um, undertaking these um, decisions. And, not, and, and bearing in mind anything that's controversial or is going to um, be difficult, um, they're typically going to be forwarding through to a commissioner, so there's other um, decision makers that are involved in that process. So this is um, to, um, we've got to rely on their professional judgment in relation to that. And if they've got it wrong, there is a process that is within the statute that needs to be followed. It's, it's not a process that the community can easily engage in, which is my concern. I mean, Councillor East will, has been receiving the emails as well mm -hmm. around the concern, so maybe he, his committee can look into it. I'm also aware that there's a, a paper coming through shortly around um, policies on non modified decisions as well, so that yeah. might actually help you okay. um, uh, have some comfort in relation to that. And, and the thing is, we, we could amend this delegation to register any time. Absolutely. Cool, thanks. All right, so um, I've got a mover and a seconder. I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. It's carried. Thank you very much. And thank, thank you. you for